Good morning, everybody. Welcome back or to the channel. Today, we're actually going to be doing something very simple and easy. Now, as I'm sure many of you already know or have seen in my previous videos, I have a pedal commander on my truck right now. And this video is not to bash the pedal commander because I actually really, really like the pedal commander. I've recommended it to many, many people. I think it's a great product and I'm actually not even planning on getting rid of it. I'm just trying something different and replacing it. So today we're gonna to be replacing the pedal commander with the Banks Pedal Monster. Now, there's probably not much of a huge difference in terms of the overall performance of either throttle sensitivity controller, whether it be the Pedal Commander or the Banks Pedal Monster. Now, the main reason that I'm looking to upgrade my Pedal Commander to the Banks Pedal Monster is primarily because I'm doing some other upgrades under the hood this year with the Banks products, and I just wanted to kind of keep everything sort of the same. Now, the second reason that I actually like this product over the Pedal Commander is primarily because the Pedal Commander actually just plugs in and gets its power source from your electronic pedal. Whereas the Pedal Monster actually plugs into your OBD2 port. Now I will say this, I've never had a problem with the Pedal Commander thus far. But just in case, if something would ever go wrong with the Pedal Commander and it would fail in some way, shape or form, your gas throttle might just be dead in the water. So if you're out there on the highway or driving around and your pedal commander fails in some way, you actually might not have any throttle anymore. Whereas with the Banks Pedal Monster, if this would actually fail in any way, shape or form, it'll actually just reset your pedal to its factory condition. So you'll still have throttle. So it's really like a fail safe. Uh, and I actually like that idea with the Banks Pedal Monsters. But again, I don't dislike the Pedal Commander. I'm going to be actually taking the Pedal Commander out of this truck and then putting it on this truck over here, which is my wife's truck, uh, because just the other day she was complaining about the throttle sensitivity being a little mushy and a little bit delayed uh, because she's coming from a Toyota Highlander back to a truck. She just notices that the pedal is not as responsive as she would like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the Pedal Monster in my truck and then I'm gonna take the pedal commander from my truck and put it in her truck, which will help fix that throttle delay. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump in and start taking the pedal commander out of my truck. And then we're gonna go ahead and hook up the Banks pedal monster and see what it's like. So what I did was I took my front dash panel off here. Okay, now don't mind some of this wiring here. Some of this stuff here is really for my uh, remote starter. I'll just push that out of the way. And then some of these other things are just my LED lights, my LED light bar switch here that's attached to this. So I just left that there. But, so as you can see right here, this is the wire from the pedal commander that plugs into the power source of your throttle. Now the power that comes from your actual throttle over here is probably not as powerful as the power that you're gonna get from your OBD2 port. Now, technically, I'm sure these little pedal commanders don't require that much power to run, okay? So that's why running it off of the throttle power is probably perfectly fine. But it's that safety mechanism that I'm talking about to where, and for any reason, if that pedal commander would fail, it might render your throttle dead in the water to where you don't have a throttle anymore until you actually physically stop the truck, turn it off, unplug everything, unplug everything back in and... That's just more of a pain in the butt. So again, for any reason, if this would fail, it would actually not kill your throttle response. It'll just reset it back to factory instantly so that you don't lose control of your throttle. So I'm gonna go ahead, unplug the pedal commander, and then we're gonna go ahead and get this unboxed and we're gonna get that plugged in. Okay, so I just unplugged the pedal commander. And as you can see here, this is all it comes with. You got one power that splices in to the actual power source to the throttle and then it splices out from this harness to the throttle so that's all this does is it just pretty much splices in between the power that goes to the throttle and the actual throttle itself so that's all this really does so now let's go ahead and get this bangs pedal monster unpackaged and hooked up all right so there you go that's what it looks like inside the box. It's actually packaged really, really nice. Nice foam packaging. 
okay? Let me set that aside. And if you compare the size, it's not a whole lot bigger. I mean, if you could see here, they're pretty close in size. The Banks is a little bigger. So if you actually were planning on putting this on your dash or something like how the Pedal Commander can be, um, this is gonna be a little bit bigger, but I never put this on the dash. Basically, after I plug it in, um, I download the app on my phone and you can control everything with your phone. And once I set the setting that I want it to be on, I keep this under the dash out of the way. So really, the size of this doesn't matter because I usually keep mine tucked up under the dash. Okay, so what do we got here? Okay, so this is the wire that looks like it plugs into your OBD2 port. So then it looks like it comes out of the OBD2 port, plugs into either one of these front pieces right here. There's two settings. Now, if you have one of their Banks Derringers or something like that, you'll need a splitter. But um, for this purpose only, this right here from the OBD2 port will plug right into the front of this. And then these two will plug right back into the throttle as we did before. So let me get this hooked up and uh, we'll go from there. So right here is your OBD2 port, all right? Now, again, normally it's just attached to the panel here, but I attached it just so you can see what I'm doing. Now, you have one port right here to plug in the pedal monster. Now, keep in mind, if you have any other attachments that are going to your OBD2 port, maybe it has something to do with your remote starter plugged in, which I normally do. I have a remote starter that has the... the module and the obd2 plug-in all i did for today's purpose was unplug that so what i'll have to do is just go buy a splitter that way i can plug in the pedal monster and my remote start module at the same port but that'll be something i'll do another day that's super easy and simple but for today i just unplugged the remote start just so i had access to the obd2 and i'll show you what we got to do next okay so all you're going to do is take your module from the Banks Pedal Monster, and we're just gonna plug it in to the bottom of the OBD2. Just like that, okay? So basically, one side of the harness plugs right there, the other side plugs right there. Okay, so now that we got the module itself plugged into the actual pedal, two harnesses up there, you got this part here plugged into your OBD2 right here. Then we're just gonna attach the attachment here because it goes from a four prong to like this bigger six prong. Attach that to here, attach that to there, and then we'll be done. Then all we have to do is download the app, make our adjustments, and we'll be good to go. Okay, so we went ahead and we just installed the Pedal Monster. Uh, just as I mentioned before, once you get it all plugged in, it wants you to turn the key in the ignition to start, but don't start the vehicle. And then on the back of the Pedal Monster module, there's a little tiny orange button. You just wanna press that with like a tiny little screwdriver or something like that to set it into pairing mode. Once you pair it to your phone, everything hooks up. It wants to do a quick calibration where basically you leave the key in the start ignition and you press the throttle down once it'll tell you to let go it'll tell you to press the throttle down a second time and then tell you to let go then everything's hooked up and calibrated and connected so now we did that we are now connected to the actual app now with this app here you could actually choose uh stock which takes it back to stock that simple you could take it to city which is probably more for fuel economy, for example. Uh, you could set the throttle up and down in city mode. You need to get to sport, which will be a little bit more uh, sensitive and faster. And then you can take it to track, which is probably gonna be the fastest. Use your up arrow and you can see up or down arrow. You see how it's moving up or down. So technically that right there on track all the way up that's gonna be the fastest response. So let's just go ahead, put it in drive and see what it's like. Now I'm assuming this is gonna be pretty similar to my pedal commander. So I really don't expect too much of a difference in the throttle feel. So 
so I mean absolutely I mean it's this this gives me that pretty instant throttle response as I had on the pedal commander so I'd honestly say I'd have to play with the settings a little longer to be able to compare it to the pedal commander but I'll be honest from what I feel so far it feels almost the same in terms of the throttle response now with that said this is still way better than stock now bear in mind a pedal monster or a pedal commander neither one of them are increasing horsepower or doing anything performance related to the engine all they are doing is adjusting the throttle sensitivity in your pedal so sometimes like on a cummins for example you know, on stock when you touch that pedal it's a little mushy you have to like lay your foot into the pedal a little further to get the truck to go and then you can push it down further for the turbo to kick in it's just a little bit of a delay it's a mushy delay now once you set it onto a higher performance mode like what i just did there it actually will give you that instant response so as soon as you put your foot on that pedal and start pressing you're going to get some uh, throttle response now i'm going to take this back to stock like i just did i just hit the stock button now it's on stock i'm in park but i'm going to put it back in drive I'm gonna give it about half throttle. You see how it's just kind of mushy and soft, okay? I'd say I just gave it about a third to a half of a press of a pedal, and the truck starts moving, but it's not instant. It's very, I'd almost say sluggish feeling. But now, let's go into track, turn it all the way up. Now let's see what we got. Oh yeah. <laughs> this thing, it's night and day. When you actually have a pedal monster hooked up and you put this thing in track on the top speed, you literally touch that pedal and you start to take off, which is very good. And what I noticed too, when you put this truck into reverse, it'll automatically revert back to the stock throttle sensitivity. That way you're not jolting backwards very fast. But once you're in drive, you have that. So I'm gonna play with the different settings and I'll do an updated follow-up review on the Pedal Monster. But I gotta say, so far, I am impressed. I really, really like it. And I gotta say, being that they are very close in price. Now, sometimes you might catch the Pedal Commander on 20 or $30 off, but being that they're both not cheap, I'd honestly probably recommend you to go with the Banks Pedal Monster, mainly because I think the overall controls are very nice. I think that the safety control with the reverse, uh, that's a good safety control. And I really like the idea that if it would fail, it will not render your pedal dead in the water. It means it'll just revert back to stock and you're good to go. Whereas the Pedal Commander, to my knowledge, did not have that reverse safety feature it does not have as nice of an app to work with it's still good but it's not quite as nice as the banks and the pedal commander plugs directly into the power source of your throttle so if that pedal commander would fail your throttle might be dead in the water to where you have to physically shut your vehicle off unplug everything plug everything back in the way it was originally just to be able to use your throttle which in the case of an emergency, might not be the most convenient thing to do. So I'd say overall, the Banks is a better product in my opinion. In terms of performance, I'd say they're neck and neck. But I think overall, I think the Banks is the better throttle sensitivity controller. Okay, we are done. I will say this, I am impressed. I really, really like the Banks Pedal Monster. Now. Do I love it so much more than the Pedal Commander? Not really. I think overall the performance is about the same, maybe a tad bit better. Now, when I say that, I'm comparing the top level sensitivity of the Pedal Commander to the top level sensitivity of the Pedal Monster. And when I do that, it almost feels that the top level sensitivity, which is the track mode all the way up on the Pedal Monster, seems a little faster but i don't know i don't have any way of 
tracking that, but it feels a little faster. But overall, the performance, sort of neck and neck, I'd almost give it a slight edge to the pedal monster. Now, as far as everything else goes, like we talked about before, the pedal monster does have some extra safety features. It has the reverse safety feature. If your vehicle is part of their code, it is also plugged into your OBD2 port. So if for some reason the pedal monster would fail, it would just basically shut off and your throttle would just go back to stock and it would work perfectly fine without doing anything. On the pedal commander, now that actually plugs into the power source of your throttle. So what happens is if that pedal commander would fail, your throttle might be useless until you actually physically unplug it and then plug everything back into its factory configuration. So again, not the end of the world, fairly easy to do on the fly if needed, but still that's one small fault to the pedal commander. So I think the app that runs the pedal monster um, is a little nicer than the app that works the pedal commander, but I will say this, so the pedal commander can actually be adjusted on the module itself. So if you do happen to put this on your dash, you can actually control the sensitivity right on this module where the Banks pedal monster does not have that capability. Now with the Banks pedal monster, you could use your app on your phone to control everything, which I got to say was really, really good. Or if you happen to have the Banks I dash, which is that little gauge that goes up on your dash if you happen to have one of those that will also control the pedal monster as well so in terms of functionality they're, they're pretty neck and neck i'd almost just give the pedal monster a slight edge so overall in my honest opinion i personally think that the pedal monster so far is a slight bit better than the pedal commander and being that they're very close in price I'd say if you're looking to get one, go with the Banks Pedal Monster. So that's it for today's video. So do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button, like this video, and uh, subscribe to the channel as always because it definitely helps me out. And uh, I just want to say seriously, thank you to each and every one of you. I do truly appreciate all of the support. So that's it for today's video. I just want to say thank you one more time. And as always, see you in the next video.